Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Bleach, Chapter 616. Alright, now. <sighs> let, me, let me just start at the beginning, alright? Those glimpses I was asking for last week, we got them. However, they weren't exactly what I was ex what I wanted. Uh, we got glimpses of Waco Mundo. We got glimpses of the world of the living again. With I think with I think it was Kago and that other dude that Ichigo hangs out with. Um, we saw the Quincy's kind of just being angry because their loyalty was being betrayed. We saw Baz be there for a couple panels. All right, um, and at the end of this chapter, we see. Uh, freaking um, Shun Sweet Kiraku going to talk to Aizen, which everyone has been expecting since the arc started. <laughs> um, but the big thing in this chapter is all this Uketake stuff, because that's what the rest of the chapter is. Alright. Um, so. Okay. Um, so, Ukita so here's how this works. Okay, Ukitake belonged to this certain area in the Rukan district that believed in this god that was viewed as the right hand of the spirit king. And by offering his body to this idol, he essentially becomes the right hand to the spirit king and can replace the spirit king in the case of him being killed. One, okay, number one, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. You can't just give your body to a god and then become spirit king. That's not that's not how it works. I'm pretty like I don't think there are Christians or Muslims or any other religion out there. I don't think there are any people like that just killing themselves and expecting to become God. Like that that's I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Um, just because you worship God and then you give your body to God, that doesn't mean that you then become God and can replace God in the case of God being killed, which should be impossible, but I mean, it's the, for this entire thing makes any sense, because the Spirit King, he's, it's not like we, like, I mean, they're kind of gods, I mean, they're, I mean, they're all gods, they're gods of death, but I mean, like, you know what I mean, I, it's, it's, I mean, this, this entire situation, it's, this is just silly, this, this is just silly, okay, like, I'm, I'm not, gonna say that this is a load of crap that Kubo made up off the top of his head, but this is a load of random crap that Kubo made up off the top of his head, alright, because this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is, the, this is just, it's silly, it makes no sense, um, it came out of nowhere, it, it'd be one thing if Ukitake actually name dropped Mimi Hagi at some point earlier in the series, alright, but he didn't. Right, if 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 Ukitake at some point during the Soul Society arc or Ankar saga or something, when Aizen was beating people up left and right, if he had said just said something small like, you know, oh maybe uh Mimi Hagi sama, please get us through this or something, something small like that. That's all he needed. He couldn't even do that. Alright. So to pull this just out of no, this is clearly something he just made up off the top of his head. All right, I don't, ca I don't care if Ukitake had that lung disease or whatever since his first appearance in the series. I really don't care. All right, that's that does not count as foreshadowing him becoming a freaking spirit king. All right, no, <laughs> that no, <laughs> that's not how that works. That is not how foreshadowing works. All right, oh man, first of all. How does how does that even how does that lung disease even work in the first place? This is something I've been wondering for a long, long time. Did this dude like die as a kid 
from the Islamic disease and then get sent to soul society with that same disease about to kill him again? Or was he actually born in soul society? But even then, I mean, I know we have families like the Kuchkis and stuff, but I mean, it still makes no sense to be born in soul society. If you're born in soul society, that means you should be alive. And if you're alive, you should be living in the world of the living because you're alive. So how can you, how can you be born in a place that dead people are at, or sent to, you know? That's, that's, <laughs> I, I mean, this is stuff I've been thinking about for, like, ever since I started Bleach, you know? But, I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm just now getting around to mentioning it in an actual video. <laughs> I wish Kubo was just, like, clear, you know, I, no, I, Kubo can't be clear with things. He can't be specific. He can't actually tell us how things work, because if he tells us how things work specifically, that means he can't take advantage of loopholes and crap to pull off stuff like this. <laughs> I'm just going to give the chapter 5 out of 10, and that's that, you guys. I mean, it's... Eisen. That's the only part of this chapter that's, those last two pages are the only parts of the chapter worth reading, really. Um, it's, just, it's, just, it's just so stupid. Uh, I swear, I've said it before, I'll say it again. T.T. Kubo is addicted to plot twists. He really is. Like, it he, that's 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 it, you guys. <laughs> Chapter gets a five out of ten. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next. I shouldn't give it a four point five. All right, but you know either one is good. I mean, honestly, this chapter isn't even worth rating. But <laughs> uh, five, all right, five out of ten, four point five, four point seven five, whatever. All right, four point five five with something like that. All right, that's what this chapter gets. All right, that's it, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Mimi, Jesus.